You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports. Oh my goodness. Stephen A. Smith is running some textbook damage control. As we know, Stephen A. Smith wanted Max Kellerman gone. He wanted Max Kellerman off of first take, wanted him off of first take for years now. And he wanted first take to be the Stephen A. Smith show, essentially. And now he's got this round robin of wokesters coming on outside of Michael Irvin and Tim Tebow. But he's got a, a whole host of people. Great majority of them are black. That seems to have been a preference that Stephen A. Smith had. Now, we know Stephen A. Smith has went ultra-woke, but we know Max Kellerman is the heavyweight champion of Wokesters. But the one thing I can say about Max Kellerman is he doesn't hide that. Okay? Uh, we know exactly what we're getting when we're listening to him. And, in fact, I chose not to listen because it was Max Kellerman. But I knew exactly where Max Kellerman stood. He was out of his mind woke. Well, in this particular case, maybe that's better than Stephen A. Because Stephen A. seems to be a snake in the grass. That's right. Um, he seems to be the guy, hey, you're my best buddy, you're my best friend, but I really want to stab you in the back and get you out of here because I'm trying to further my career with ESPN and eventually I want to become a late night talk show host. That is my goal. Okay, well, now Stephen A. Smith, probably because his reputation took a hit, is trying to talk his way out of looking just god-awful. Okay, you look terrible, Stephen A., uh, because you're a snake and you wanted Max Kellerman out uh, to further your own career. Well, Stephen A. Smith doesn't like Max Kellerman narrative after first take exit. By the way... In a surprising turn of events, First Take's ratings are down since Max left. Imagine that. There were actual Max Kellerman fans. I mean, who the hell knew? Stephen A. Smith is still explaining his First Take breakup with former co-host Max Kellerman. Smith, who addressed Kellerman's First Take exit earlier this month, corrected what he believes are false narratives that he, quote, doesn't like Kellerman on the latest, quote, Sports Illustrated Media Podcast. You know, I think people get construed thinking, you know what? Stephen A. doesn't like Max. It couldn't be further from the truth. I like him and respect him, Smith said. Hmm, interesting. I would think, Stephen A., if you respected Max, you would want Max to remain on the show. It seems to me like you didn't respect him at all. Quote, I think that Max is one of the nicest guys in the world. He's incredibly knowledgeable about his boxing and other sports, by the way. He continued before complimenting Kellerman on his new roles at ESPN. Kellerman has a new hour-long show, quote, This Just In, premiered on September 14th. I can't wait to see how bad the ratings are. And airs from 2 to 3 Eastern. He serves as the host of the show and is joined by guests including ESPN NFL reporter Kimberly A. Martin to provide news, opinion, analysis on the day's trending topics and other headlines. Kellerman also joined ESPN's radio show Keyshawn J. Will and Zubin, having replaced Zubin Malente. I would rather take a absolute beating with a bamboo stick than to have to watch that. I knew there was a plethora of opportunities within the company for him to be a part of, which has been proven because now with Keyshawn and Jay on a nationally syndicated radio show in the morning for four hours, he's got his own national television show in the afternoons from two to three. This just in, which I think is doing well, and I wish him nothing but the best. Damage control. Earlier this month, Smith confirmed he wanted Kellerman gone. The rumors are accurate in terms of me wanting him off the show. Let's get out, get that out of the way. Yes, I did. Smith said in an interview with Hot 97, adding, it was, quote, nothing personal. 
<laughs> really? Okay. Smith explained the partnership between him and Kellerman had run its course after five years. Smith noted that final decision to remove Kellerman from the show wasn't his. Please. You're the most powerful dude at ESPN right now making 12 large a year. I just didn't feel that moving forward, he and I together was the right call, and I said that to the bo bosses. Evidently, this time they understood this time, which means you had said it previously over and over again. They made the move. He added the viewers had noticed the pair's chemistry had stalled. Quote, you feel the need to retool. Ahead of Kellerman's exit, the Post, Andrew Marchand, reported Smith didn't believe that the pair worked well together. Following weeks of reports, ESPN announced Kellerman's departure from first take. And the new era, as advertised by Molly Karam, includes a rotating panel of guests, etc., etc., Irving is on Mondays. Tebow is on Fridays with the token white guy. Yeah. So, uh, so it seems to me like now that all of this has come out. Cause let's be honest as a Stephen, a, you don't respect max. If you respected max, you'd work, you'd work with max. Let's be real. We don't like to work with people we don't respect, okay? We tend to resent them when we don't respect them. We look at them and we're like, oh, this some bitch again. I got to work with him again. Oh, I'm carrying his ass again. And you know good and well, this is exactly what Stephen A. thought. But now that the ratings are coming in, we're finding out, although I am not one of them, among the fans of First Take... The ratings have gone down since Max Kellerman's left. Shocking. I mean, evidently, there's a lot of wokey wokes out there that love to hear Max Kellerman lose his ever-beloved mind about things like Donald Trump. But, look, that was their audience. That was the audience they built together. And now the show has taken a ratings hit. I find that hilarious. I find it ironic. I find it funny as hell. Stephen A. gets to lie in the bed that he made because he was the one that wanted Max gone. We'll see where this move takes Stephen A. in the future. We don't know. Will he get that late night talk show? We've seen him. He stepped in for Jimmy Kimmel. Well, he did that on purpose. He That's what he wants to do is a late night network ABC television show of his own. By which uh, Stephen A. has had shows before. And they didn't work out so well. It didn't work out so well. I still haven't seen the new product. Even though I'm a huge Michael Irvin fan, I'm a huge Tim Tebow fan, I still haven't watched it because outside of an absolute live sporting event that I absolutely must cover and or see, I don't watch ESPN at all anymore. At all. By the way, Mike Golick is on Pro Football Talk on Mondays now. They call it Mike along with Mike. And as much as Florio can drive me crazy, Florio and Golick are really good together. Uh, tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.